Hey Jordan, here is your video lesson for this week. Uh, today we're going to talk about um, shifting open chords horizontally. Okay, so that sounds like a lot, um, but it's actually a really simple concept. Um, let's start with an E major chord. Okay, so pretty basic. Now, sort of just ignoring like music theory and even knowing what the chord is called in its, um, you know, just like standard term. Um, sometimes it's good to just like move your hand around and mess around and find out, if you will. Um, so if I take that E, um, Okay, so I'm just gonna strum, you know. I don't really know anything about music theory in this situation. I'm gonna move the whole shape up a whole step. That sounds pretty good. Just a whole step up. Back down. This is a great exercise for your right hand. You're just kind of keeping a steady strumming pattern. I went up three half steps and then back. All right, where else can we go? Maybe we'll go to my middle finger is on the seventh fret. Let's go up a whole step from here. This is all just knowing one open chord. Right? Now you could dissect that, you know, I could just be like, that's an E major, this is an F sharp, 7, add 6. This is an A major, add nine. This is a B7, B major, B sus4. There are technical terms for all of these chords, but sometimes it's, it's fun and um, a good artistic exercise to just not be too deep about things and just kind of, okay, well maybe it's just... And just saying, well, that sounds pretty good, so I'm gonna go with it. I mean, there's countless examples of artists who don't really know a whole lot about, you know, classical and curriculum music theory, but they just kind of mess around and they say, oh, it sounds pretty good, so I think I'll go with it, you know? Um, so yeah, you can do that with E. You can do that with A, let's see. You know, Biba Doobie. This sounds like something she would do, you know, just. Just with the A major. What if we go A minor? Or maybe D. You know, you can get a lot of fun sounds that way. Um, yeah, and, and a big part of that is also, um, well, the first thing is it's great because it forces you to have a connected sound. It's, it's not, it's, everything is connected, okay? Um, yeah, and then um, what I was trying to say is the right hand is, is a big deal too. So let's go back to the E. I'm really just doing down up, right? But it's really just 
the accents, you know, the the parts of the beat that I'm strumming um, that have more velocity that are just louder, so I can go like. Just adding sort of um, dynamics uh, in that way can really make a difference. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's that's the first thing I would say is you know just mess around with some open chords. Um, another thing um, that you can do that with, just following that concept. Um, and we may have discussed this, but let's just, you know, review it. Our power chords, right? What is a power chord? It is our root note, right? Our root note being B in this case. Why is this note B? It's because the open string fifth, the open fifth string is A. This is A sharp. And this is B, this is C, C sharp B, and this is B, okay? A power chord is um, the root note and a fifth above it. So a fifth is this interval. Now it's two frets, so why is it called a fifth? Well, it's called a fifth because this note is B and this note is F sharp. Okay, so if you're thinking within the scale, da -dee 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 -dee, right, you know that sound. One, two, three, four, five. That's the fifth note. Okay, so that'll give you a fifth. That by itself is already a power chord. Now, oftentimes, people will put the octave above it too, so you can add that in, okay? All right, so for here, the same thing. Let's add our open strings, B and E. Sounds nice and full. simple power chord and with open strings you can just already get that um, get a chord progression uh, let's do one more so let's let's go up here to the seventh position and we're gonna do a power chord right now this time we're gonna stay in the same position of the guitar um, but we're gonna just change the bass note. What is the bass note? The bass note is just the lowest note in the chord. So here, the lowest note would be the seventh fret, fifth string. Right? Now I'm gonna change the bass note to the seventh fret, sixth string. note to the ninth fret so now we have right let's change the bass note to the open fifth string all together that sounds like a million songs that sounds like a lot of different pop songs. Um, throw a capo on it. You can change the key and keep the open string sound and you will be a rock star. 
um, you're already a rock star. Uh, okay, there's your video lesson for this week. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next time.